Well, good morning. And how you guys doing out there? Are you guys getting all set for Christmas and the new year? There's going to be some major changes for me. Um, over the past month, I've been depressed and I have went into debt like $800 and not much for Christmas this year but that's okay um, some major things happen I think when it rains it really rains so to speak but anyways um, I the first incident was I went to open up my oven and my oven door fell off yeah just before Christmas so I ordered an oven because I have a credit card so that put me into almost $400 in debt which won't be here until after Christmas so next incident my husband goes out to the car and we get a flat tire Kia tows me an hour away and at the time I had probably just enough to keep my checking account open because I let my guard down because I'm a prepper and I just let my guard down we were gonna sell all the stuff and that was our plan and to get out of the house and then winter come we needed wood we needed oil uh, we needed furniture again so um, yeah so anyways I was told the Kia they tell me I need a tire they told me they can't fix it so I thought I had to walk 42 miles home on a below 40 degree day or night because it was getting to be nightfall. I called my husband and I told him, I said, it looks like I'm walking home. I had a thin jacket on, no gloves, no, no boots. And I cried a lot. Yeah, I did. I posted on Facebook um, and I started to walk and lucky I got a ride home. So anyways, that's what else happened, and um, Woody went back to the cancer place, and um, he had 35 spots the first time. He went back, and he had another five or six that they had to do. Um, I've just been right at the house. You guys haven't seen many hauls on with me, and I hope to pick that up. I still made money. I made $40 in Saving Star. I made close to... 20 between Ibotta and Moby Save and um, the um, Checkout 51. But I need to have 20 in it in order to release the funds. So I have not worked on that. And my plan was to do that today. But things are turning around because um, I managed to get Boss of the Swamps. Um, journal out it only cost me 375 to send which I was grateful for that so we headed to the food cupboard this morning to help out over there because we volunteer and um, we were blessed we came back with a case of strawberries I don't know what to do with all these strawberries my freezer is full my little freezer in the kitchen and my freezer in my um, my refrigerator is full so I need something like quick so you guys if you can shout out to some recipes or something that I can use them up that won't require me to freeze them um, I was thinking about jam but I would like to get out today if I can I need to start working on um, a Valentine's um, journal that's due on Valentine's Day and these journals aren't heavy to ship so it's not like um, it's going to cost me any money or put me any more in debt because no, it's not. So anyways, we'll get back to why I'm in debt. So I didn't have the cash to start Christmas shopping. So I went online and I was getting paid to pick some Christmas gifts. So I did that and I only did 200 because I said that's affordable. I could pay that off in January and we'll be fine. Well, then I get stuck with 400 for the stove, the tire meaning a hundred. So that's up to seven and, um, 
Then we had a couple more gifts that we had to get. And then I'm up to eight. And I'm like, this is not my plan. My plan is not put myself in deeper debt. My plan is to stay out of debt and don't require any debt. Pay everything with cash. Do the Dave Ramsey plan. And I'm off the beaten path. So anyways, this morning, um, well, the last couple days, I noticed that some things are changing. One is a friend that I hadn't spoke to. I got to speak to that person. And um, we are now talking, which is a really good thing. It's a blessing in disguise. Um, because I thought I would never speak to that person again. And I'm really thankful for that. I got to go visit with my family. And they came back with some really, really nice things. My daughter Suzanne had got me three Pioneer Woman pieces from her collection. She got me the spice shelf. She got me the um, col col colander. It was a big blue one. It was like this big. Um, and also um, the cupcake pan. And my daughter Christine got me a door. I think it is. It's a hand set for your nails. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, my son Sean got me this. which lights up. Anna got me um, a candle holder that is very crystallized and um, metallic and it's really pretty. Ethan got me a paperweight with gold. Um, his daughter Nicole had sent us um, a meat box from Omaha State Company um, and Megan and I spoke to and um, that's it so far, but that's okay. So I did get to see my family. I get, did get to exchange gifts with them. And um, then I came back. And we came back and um, we left in icy, icy temps. It was raining and we knew that night it was going to freeze. And it did. We came back to the whole driveway being a glare of ice. We got in the driveway Woody's now out there putting sand down because we got some sand. So anyways, we went to the, the cupboard to, to go over there to help. And I got a case of strawberries. I came back with three butternut squash. Um, a bag of um, garlic mashed potatoes, which we'll have for Christmas dinner. Because all I have to do is heat them up and serve them with whatever we're going to have. Um, yeah, and a couple bags of salad mix. I think we had some for lunch. So, anyways, um, then we stopped at a book place, and I found these old books. This one is Mama's Bank Account, and look at the pages. They're all yellowed, and this one is... Let's see, I did read it. Let me get my glasses back on here. Uh, let's see. One of them is like $20 because I, I checked it out on eBay. I'm going to do some picking. I'm not sure the date on this one, but the pages are so... This is the cover. And it's so old inside. The pages are yellow. So then, my husband spots roses, Rose in Bloom, and the spine is pretty good except for up here. It's a little torn, but that's to be expected. And this is green inside, and look at how dark these pages are. These are great for journals, but I went on eBay and Amazon to see what the cost, and a couple of them are like... 10 or 20 bucks right now because they're vintage. Um, this one is Roses in Bloom by Louisa May Alcott and I think it's in the 1900s for this one. Oop, there's a hair on there. But anyways, and this one here goes for 20. This is Drag Strip Danger. It's a Whitman novel by Ross Olney. It's a little torn right there. It's got some frayed here. 
Um, I don't know what that is on there. But anyways, this is the inside of the spine. And the pages are yellow. And this one is uh, 1972, which is a newer one, but it, on eBay they want 20. Thomas Jefferson, His Life in Words. And this says on it, it was $5.95 from Virginia. And this is how new the book looks inside the jacket. And this one's 1986. It's got a little bit of torn here on the jacket. A little bit right there. But in all, it, it's a really good book. And then because I like to cook and I'm trying to cook low fat, I found this. Which is low fat favorite recipes. And it's from the American Heart Association. And then I found Mickey Mouse. And this one's the kitten sitters, and it used to cost 89 cents. It's got a few little dings on the spine. The corner's torn just a little bit, but that's how they are in the old, when you get the old books. You know, so all yellowed, which are pretty neat. And then I got Goofy, the movie star. And this one cost 25 cents. And a little torn right there. A little right here. And got some writing in, inside the cover. And really old yellowed paper. So if I don't sell some of these, I'll probably use them for my journals. But... Then I saw this one because this looked really, really old. The spine is in not great condition because it's away from the spine, which is awesome if you're doing journals because look at how easy that is to remove. Them are, these are your signatures. So this one here is Gray Dawn, Albert Payson, their rune and like I said the spine is but look at how yellowed they are so I really got some really nice spines you know because they were free and um, I stopped to see somebody about eggs because I told her I wanted to wish her a Merry Christmas and she said Robin she said I haven't found anybody to take some of your eggs and I said well I donated 18 to the Catholic Church and she's like, well, I still got your number. And I'm, I'm hoping to find somebody that will take some of these eggs. And I said, I don't understand what's wrong. I said, because you can devil them. You can make, you know, pickled eggs. You can make egg salad. You can put them in recipes. And he, it's like, she said to me, I think it's because they're not washed. And I said, well reason why they're not washed is because if you wash the egg it puts bacteria in it so you wash them as you need them because it protects the egg because once you start washing the egg it puts bacteria in there um, so we don't wash them till we're ready to use them so she, I said well I'll wash them all if that's what it it takes and she said Robin that's kinda you shouldn't have to do that if you're giving something away and people need food that they should just want them and I said well I gave 18 dozen away and hopefully I'll find some more people that would want some more eggs and I'll have to start using them up because I'm a prepper but anyways I got four totes of my um, couponing stuff below my bed because there's no room and in my closet there's a couple of totes um, I'm going to start working on my junk journal for the Valentine swap for February. I'm going to start finishing all of them. I'm going through all my papers and I'm just going to put stuff in. I'm not going to mess around anymore. I'm going to bring it all out. I'm going to set the different things in totes on my bed. If I Sometimes I work on my bed because 
This is a palette bed. I'm going to aim you down. This is a palette bed. I made this. See? This is the back of it. And that's where my computer is plugged in in my printer. But over the summer, I thought we were going to leave. I thought I was going to get land and put the camper on it. So I sold everything and, I, and the stuff that I had, I wanted to just put it in the Kia and transport it to wherever we were going to go. And it didn't work out. And then I had this mattress from the camper. So what I did was I got four pallets and I put them together. I cut a metal strip and I put them on both ends and I attached this headboard to that with metal strips that I cut out. I cut them out and I screwed them both in. And this here, I'm going to take in and make a shelf and also put lights in it. So I'm designing this. And if it works out, I'll probably design some more furniture. I told Woody that we need to go to the dump and if there's any lumber like 2 by 4s or pallets or whatever, He's got a shed out there. We can put them in it till spring, and I'll build some furniture so that will subsidize our income a little bit. So, anyways, I'm this is getting into 16 minutes long, and I just wanted to come on here and do a vlogmas for day 21. I'm sorry I haven't been doing it, but I'm turning the cycle around. January is going to be a better month. I know it is. I can already feel it. I've got all my bills out. I've got them all ready to get paid. And um, I'm going to pay a little extra as I go. And this $800 is going to be like a, a drop in the bucket. I'm going to wing it out in a couple of months. I know I'm going to. I'm still going to go out and coupon. I'm still going to bring you guys the hauls. I'm still going to bring food dishes to your home. And by doing my videos and I'm also going to do the gardening come spring with you guys. I'm going to get a list of all the seeds that I can germinate and I've got the greenhouse already because I built that and I'm also going to bring you some more prepping videos. I want to do the fire making video and I'm, I'm going to try to do uh, Monday morning right. So and the exercise, the weight loss as well, because I still need to lose weight. I was talking to my kids down there at um, when I went down, and I told them, I said, I want to take swimming lessons when I go over to the gym. And when I do that, I hope to, when I get in shape and I can swim really well, I'm going to enter to go on to Survivor. So I just wanted to say hello. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm going to let you go. We're going into 18 minutes. Bye-bye.